How's it going? Uh, I'm Dylan from Dylan Pickups. And as you may or may not know, we have a collaboration with Nikita Guitars. So from time to time, we're probably going to show you something really cool from Nikita Guitars. And today is one of those times. This, let me take the strap off so it's easier to see. This is the Nikita V. It is a little bit of a typical flying V, but not really. If you notice, the shape here is a little bit different. It has a very interesting string through body design, which actually Nikita actually has the patent on that. This is a neck through body. Uh, very, very cool. Babinga is the tone wood. So it's something that's a little bit different than you normally hear. And it actually has one of our pretty cool humbucker pickups in it. And uh, I'll just give you a little example of the clean tone. This is actually going through a Blues Junior, set up pretty clean with the EQ, fairly flat, just to give you a little idea of the tone. This is actually the neck pickup. You'll notice that the tone coming from the neck pickup, even out of a V, is pretty fat. It's got a nice punchy mid-range to it. Most Vs are real edgy, more metal sounding guitars, real hard edge blues style. Lonnie Mac comes to, comes to mind. Uh, this pickup is a little bit different. Let me play the neck pickup just a little bit. It sounds a little more traditional, but still fatter with more mid-range. <laughs> is this pickup, even though it's a little bit hotter than a PAF style pickup, it's about 10K. One of the things we've done is we've actually wound the screw side and the slug side differently. Not different resistances, but use different wire. Um, that's given us a nice big fat tone. And the other thing it's done is when we coil split it on the screw side, we're really able to get a real super stratty tone. Next week, I'm going to change the wiring in this guitar, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Jersey Shore Guitar Garage is going to give us a, a wiring harness for this guitar that's going to make it a lot more versatile and a lot more playable. So we'll give you a demo of that as well. When we make this tone a little bit more dirty, today I'm using, oh, I might, might, might mention my signal chain. So this is, oh, I told you it was a Blues Junior. Um, the overdrive pedal that I'm using is a Keely, Keely Electronics Luna overdrive, and we're really not giving it that much. I don't like a lot of crunchy crunch. We just like to give you a little bit, uh, just to give you an idea of what this overdrive sounds like uh, with these pickups. They take overdrive very, very well. <laughs> Like I said, it's a lot fatter, a lot more meat, and a real punchy mid-range. That comes from that funky wine that we've done on these pickups. The interesting thing also you'll notice is middle pickup setting on one of these humbucker guitars is something that I don't normally like. I usually like a neck or a bridge, but this guitar sounds very, very good in the middle. <laughs> The note definition in the chords is still there. It doesn't turn into this muddy mess that a lot of overdriven humbuckers turn into. So anyway, that's one of our mid-range punch humbuckers in a Nikita V made out of Babinga. If you have any other questions about this pickup, this guitar, or anything that you think is possible once you figure out that's pretty cool, 
Maybe think about what it might sound like in your guitar. Uh, leave something in the comments. Send me a message on Facebook, and we'll try to get you a little bit more information on it. Like I said, next week, we'll go ahead and demonstrate what we're going to do with this guitar. We're going to do something really cool. We're going to have some series wiring with it. We're also going to have some uh, coil splitting, and we're also going to be able to mess with the phase a little bit on it. And that's all going to be available. Just We're not going to drill any more holes in it. We're not going to put any more switches in it. But Jersey Shore Guitar Garage is going to help us with that. And uh, we're going to make this guitar a really versatile guitar, something a little bit more than you would think of uh, with your typical V. So check back with us next week, and we'll, uh, we'll see you then.